So this is what we're going to do. Um, for this part here, I know this is all blurry and it's probably not going to get too much better. Um, but I sent you an email that has this in it. So all the examples I'm going to do on here, you have in an email. Okay. Um, so if you want to open that up right now, go ahead and do that. Um, and that should, that should clear things up. All right. So like I was saying, uh, the progression that we've been going through, uh, with this algebra, we started with like the properties of real numbers and we applied the properties of real numbers, to solve equations. Then we saw that we don't just have to have numbers. We can put variables in to represent those real numbers. Um, and then we can solve for those variables. So now we're going to be moving away from these equations and into inequality. Okay. So the only difference between an equation and an inequality is that we're not going to have an equal sign anymore. We're going to have a greater than, a less than, a greater than or equal to, or a less than or equal to. Okay. So um, when you use each of those signs depends on the specific wording in the question. So today, um, before we get into actually how you solve inequalities, we're going to be looking at word problems and setting up inequalities not actually solving them, but just setting them up. And then later this week, we're gonna be solving them. There's a few things that are different um, when you're solving an inequality, so we'll talk about that. And then we'll continue to progress when we're doing compound inequality, okay? So today, we gotta to focus on the language. And so I have this chart up here. This chart does uh, a pretty good job at going through uh, the different wordings that you would see for each of these inequality signs, okay? So if you look, um, the biggest thing that you need to remember about these inequality signs uh, is that we always read from left to right, okay? You always read from left to right. Um, and the more important thing to understand is that whatever side the inequality sign is opening up to, we're saying that that side is greater, okay? Now, um, it's not always going to be written with the variable on the left side, Okay, and we're gonna get into that, like how you can see these both ways. Um, but I think if you can remember, and this is like going back to like, I don't know, elementary school or middle school, uh, whatever side the alligator is eating, that is the side that is greater to than, okay? So for this first one, when we have X, and then we have this, and then we have some number, okay? This would read X is greater than some number, okay? Now, another way that you can think about this, so this would be the same thing as saying, so let's put an actual number in here, like two, okay? So X is greater than two. That's the same thing as saying that two is less than X, okay? So these are the exact same, but the way that we would read them is not the exact same. This top would be read as X is greater than two, in the bottom, this would read two is less than X, but at the end of the day, they're the exact same thing because if a number is greater than two, well, then it has to be, uh, sorry, two has to be less than that number, okay? So just remember that we can rewrite these things, it's totally fine, as long as the sign is opening towards the bigger number, okay? So that was what these like kind of notes in the middle here said. Um, so that's, that's basically what I was going over there. Um, but then I do want to point out the greater than or equal to and the less than or equal to, okay? So when you're looking at a greater than or equal to sign, uh, another way that you might, or like words that you might say, instead of it just saying that X is greater than or equal to, you could also see it say X is at least, okay? So uh, at least is the same thing as greater than or equal to, okay? Uh, another way you could say that is a no less than. So if a number is no less than, that's the same thing as it being greater than or equal to some number, okay? And then if we're looking at the less than or equal to signs, so for the less than or equal to, uh, again, another way that you could write that is, uh, or another way that you could say that or see it written is at most, okay? So if something is less than or equal to, uh, another way that you could say that is that number is at most, okay? Uh, and the last one is no more than. So uh, less than or equal to, at most, no more than. Those are all phrases that are going to indicate less than or equal to. Okay? So today on your, or tomorrow, I guess, if you want to do it tomorrow, 
your Alex practice, um, the first couple questions are literally just going to be like written out sentences, like these first couple examples. Uh, but then the last couple of problems, you will actually have to read some of these problems and set up an equality. Okay. And that's what you're going to have to do on the Kahoot too. Oh, and then sorry, the last, the last type of example that we're going to look at um, is from a graph coming up with an inequality. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into these examples. If you have questions, remember, just send me a private chat. So our first example says X is greater than or equal to eight. Okay. So remember, we always read from left to right. So if it's saying X is first, we're going to start with X and then greater than or equal to. So remember, it's always opening towards the side that's greater than. So the alligator wants to eat the bigger side, greater than, and then remember the line underneath tells us that it's greater than or equal to, and in this case, eight, okay? So X is greater than or equal to eight, all right? Now remember, an equivalent expression would be eight is less than or equal to X. So these are the exact same, okay? But this would just be red X, or sorry, eight is less than or equal to X, Remember, it's the same state. All right. Moving on to number two. So number two says, a number W increased by five is less than or equal to negative 20. Okay. So for this one, let's go ahead and start on the very back side, and then we'll work our way to the front because uh, that number W increased by five, that's a little bit tricky, okay? So it says something, so we have a number increased by five. So we're, we'll get to that at the end. Um, but we're saying that that is less than or equal to negative 20. So we know that we're going to have this sign less than or equal to, and we know that we're going to have negative 20, okay? Now let's figure out what that first part of the sentence means. A number W increased by five, okay? So I guess we're gonna start with some number W, and then how do we represent increasing a number by five? So write that in the chat. How do, we, how do we represent increasing a number by five in an equation? Good, very good, good. Yep, plus five, okay? So don't let that trip you up, it's just the number, with five more added on to it, and we're saying that that, this expression, is less than or equal to negative 20, okay? So again, just remember, if it's, you're increasing a number, you're adding. Uh, if it said a number less five, then that would be subtracting. Good, very good. Okay, so uh, we saw that, now let's move on to the graphs, okay? So if we're looking at this graph here, the important thing, to note, well, there's a couple things actually. One important thing to write down um, is that if we have an open circle on a graph, okay, that is going to be used to represent a greater than or a less than sign, okay? So open circle represents greater than or less than. A closed circle, so a filled in circle, represents greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, okay? So that's gonna be one of the most important things to remember when you're looking at this graph because if you look at this example here, it looks like we have a closed circle, closed circle right there at positive two, okay? And you can see from positive two, it's going up. So two, three, four, five, six, all of those numbers will be included. So we know that if we're talking about this variable X, we're going to have a two here, okay? And then we just need to think, okay, well, are all the numbers on this graph, are they all shaded above two or below two? And if you can see, I mean, they're all, looks like above two, because it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we know that this is gonna be a greater than, but then remember, I told you that if it's a closed circle, then it's going to be represent a greater than or equal to or a less than or equal to. So we're saying that that number is included in this inequality. So if we didn't put this equal sign, then two would not be included 
in this dissolution, okay? But because we had a closed circle on a graph, we would put this equal to sign, and this would be the inequality, okay? So remember, the equal sign is the closed circle, okay? Very important concept. Do not forget that, and make sure you can do that. All right, so we've gone through some, like, just setting up equations. We've looked at uh, this graph. So now we need to move to these real-world problems. So this last one is saying, uh, the distance to the nearest exit door is no more than 150 feet. And it wants us to come up with an inequality uh, using D to represent the distance to the nearest exit door. Okay? So, again, we're going to need to think about what inequality sign do we need to use. And when we're thinking about the inequality sign we need to use, we've got to think about the wording in the actual question. So it says, the distance to the nearest exit door is no more than 150 feet. So we know that we're going to have this D, and we know that we're going to have 150 feet. But then we have to think, what's the inequality sign? Okay. So it says no more than. So if you go to our graph, no more than is the same thing as saying X is less than or equal to. Okay. And that should make sense. Okay. If we're saying that this distance is no more than 150 feet, the distance better be either less than 150 feet or it could be equal to 150 feet. So no more than is the same thing as less than or equal to. So in this last example here, D is less than or equal to 150. That would be the equation that you need to come up with. Okay? Good, very good. All right, so I think you guys probably getting this, um, but I know like just on a surface level looking at it, you're like, okay, that seems pretty easy. Let's do some practice now. 